we're going to knock the shit out of ISIS. She said he's That's terrible. Notorious for shooting from the lip, get ready for the softer side of Donald Trump. I won't use foul language. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. They're all saying, do it, do it. No. I'll never do it again, actually. And I'll never even copy somebody what they asked me to say. The foul mouth frontrunner is promising to use rhetoric that's more suitable for younger viewers, like the mini Trump looking baby whose hand he signed in Louisiana. Now that the race has swung down to the Bible Belt, Ted Cruz is reminding voters in South Carolina of the brash billionaire, sometimes salty language. Don't listen to Donald Trump. Really, don't listen to Donald Trump. Or if you do, you may have to send your kids out of the room. Marco Rubio complained he couldn't even explain one recent Trump vulgarity to his children. They wanted to know, what was the word? What did he say? I said, I can't tell you. So I never, I can't tell you. I never want, I never want to be a candidate that does anything like that. Even though he's trying to tone it down, Trump is still firing off on Twitter, saying, if Ted Cruz doesn't clean up his act, stop cheating and doing negative ads, I have standing to sue him for not being a natural-born citizen. John Kasich is banking on a more positive campaign. How do you ever get anything done long term if you're operating in the, in, on the dark side of the street as opposed to the sunny side of the street? Jeb Bush said Trump's shtick is a reflection of the real estate tycoon's deep insecurities. We have a entertainer, a guy who is a reality TV star, who has been successful in his own life, but he also pushes people down to make himself look better. Another potential problem for Trump down south is continued mocking of the Bush family. Bush surrogate Senator Lindsey Graham argued that's a liability. And if anybody in the press is wondering, South Carolina, we like the Bushes. We like these people. We like this family. Trump is also getting pounded by ads, including spots from special interest groups like the Anti-Tax Club for Growth. There's nothing conservative about giving money to the Clintons. There's nothing conservative about Donald Trump. The ad wars are heating up in ways the candidates didn't imagine, like this cruise spot that was pulled after the campaign discovered it starred an exotic film actress. Maybe you should vote for more than just a pretty face next time. You guys have room for one more? The irreverent Cruz ad team is also having fun at Hillary Clinton's expense, depicting her smashing a computer server, a scene that seems right out of the film Office Space. Damn, it feels good to be a Clinton. A shameless politician always plays her cards right. 